So we're opening our spike prime kit and it's got a little white tape around it. Often this is very hard to pull apart, but if you use your fingernails, you can just undo it with your fingernails or get a pair of scissors, of course. Inside the kit though, we're gonna open this up. I'm not gonna unbox it like traditional unboxing videos, but I do wanna tell you that we're gonna get out the, the uh, micro USB cord and the actual Lego brick hub, which is the main brain or of your robots. So we're gonna put the battery in and it can stay in there for now. It needs to have the case to be able to charge. You can't just charge the battery. But you use the little micro USB port at the end. You can turn it on by holding the big center button at the bottom end just for a second and then it turns on. And plug in your micro USB cable into the USB port. And we're not going to connect it straight away. We are going to make sure we've updated our app, not the hub, but the app. You're going to update the app first, make sure that it's got the latest version. So after you've pressed uh, spike and update, you'll take a while before it finally comes up, but eventually it says update the app and then it sort of restarts the app and you're good to go. And then after it's updated, you're going to create a new project. Press on connect. Now, when you want to update the hub, you do have to plug it into your computer. So I'll plug it in my laptop. You can do your, your MacBook, your laptop, your PC, your MacBook. It has to be a computer. Plug it in and you'll see this message come up straight away to update the hub. So just update it and it does take quite a long time for it to actually update. It takes a few minutes, but I've just sped up the process here for your convenience. And during the process, you'll actually notice that at some stage when you get into the 90 percentile kind of area it the brick actually the hub shuts down or restarts so don't worry about that it will say it's disconnected but just keep it all plugged in and just wait a few moments and you'll see that it turns itself back on restarts and finally your hub will be updated and you won't have to do that again hopefully press done when you are done and when you are done you'll be able to tell you'll be able to give your hub a name now if you've got more than one hub it's very important to name them because then it's easier to find them when you're connecting so name your robot whatever you want and later on if you want to you can actually go into that connect part there and you can rename it again if you need to change the name or if you've forgotten to name it previously so that's it like and subscribe please please like and subscribe robot man dot com dot au